Set 24 hours before the events of the original Resident Evil comes the inspirationally titled Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Zero. We follow Stars Bravo Squad's Rebecca Chambers, who is an 18-year-old medic on her very first mission with the team. Bravo team have been sent to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of murders linked to cannibalism. As the team arrive, the helicopter suffers engine failure and the team continue their investigation on foot. Rebecca discovers the Eclipse Express, which is filled with zombies and decides to explore it. Miss Chambers stumbles across former lieutenant in the US Marine Corps, Billy Cohen, Billy. who is our second playable character. Why is he a former lieutenant? Well, Billy has been court-martialed for killing 23 civilians and was on his way to be executed when the zombie outbreak began. Billy, of course, claims he has been framed and the player must decide over the course of the game whether they believe him or not. Rebecca and Billy decide to work together and discover the zombie outbreak was due to a leech-like enemy who could degenerate and reform to suit the surroundings. Series antagonist Albert Wesker and Resident Evil 2 opponent William Birkin are attempting to cover up the outbreak and plan to derail and destroy the Eclipse Express. Luckily, Billy and Rebecca put on the brakes and disembark the train to discover an abandoned umbrella facility. Rebecca notices a picture of the leech monster on the wall, and through reading books, cutscenes, and the occasional flashback, his story is slowly pieced together. Dr. James Marcus. Dr. James Marcus, a founding member of Umbrella, after the discovery of the progenitor virus in 1986. Dr. Marcus founded Umbrella alongside Sir Edward Ashford, grandfather of Alfred and Alexia from Code Veronica, and Lord Oswell Spencer, who we'll meet in Resident Evil 5. Dr. Marcus worked on the progenitor virus to improve the human race, but ultimately did this by creating a bio-organic weapon. After 20 years of research, he finally created the T-Virus and is subsequently murdered by fellow co-founder Oswell Spencer, who grew paranoid and jealous of Marcus's actions. His two protégés, William Birkin and Albert Wesker, take over the work of Dr. Marcus, and we all know how that goes, especially for William Birkin. Dr. Marcus, now a rotting corpse, is dumped in a sewer along with the Queen Leech he was experimenting on. Over the course of 10 years, the Queen Leech DNA reanimates his cadaver, merging his memories and desires for revenge against Umbrella with the shape-shifting abilities of the T-virus-infused Queen Leech. Right, let's get back to our heroes. Rebecca and Billy face countless enemies in the shape of monkeys, ants, spiders, and even the tyrant makes an appearance, but the ongoing threat of the resurrected Dr. Marcus keeps the feeling of peril flowing. As if things weren't difficult enough, the dreaded self-destruction sequence begins and now there's only minutes until the facility explodes. After a number of battles, the Queen Leech begins to overpower Dr. Marcus' influences and evolves into its final form. The Queen Leech is seemingly impervious to bullets, but Billy and Rebecca discover its real weakness, sunlight. With the Queen weakened, Billy is able to damage it enough to knock it back into the underground moments before the self-destruction sequence ends. The game concludes with Billy being granted his freedom by Rebecca, who ultimately believes he is innocent. Billy leaves, never to be seen again. Rebecca goes on to report Billy's death to her superiors, but only after she survives the mansion incident in the events of the original Resident Evil. So that's it, that's Resident Evil Zero in three minutes. If this has been of some help, please subscribe and help our little channel grow. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, and I'll see you next time for the return of Leon in Resident Evil 4.